Hey Stampers, Diane Damage here with DDStamps.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make a quick and easy box using the envelope punch board which as you probably are aware is one of my favorite products from Stampin' Up. I just love this board, um, it's a lot of fun to work with and there's so much you can do with it. And so to make this box you're going to take a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and you're going to stick it up into your um, envelope punch board, make sure it's lined up along the top here at 3 inches, punch down and score and you're going to do that at three inches all the way around your cardstock or I'm using designer series paper but you can use cardstock for this so again at three inches and punch and score and three inches and punch and score and once you've done all four you're going to flip your paper over and do it again three inches and punch and score and three inches and punch and score. Three inches and punch and score. And three inches and punch and score. And you don't really need to worry about just score down your line till you can't score anymore because they end up what ends up happening is they meet up with each other when you go all the way around. Once you've done that, you're gonna go back into your scoreboard and this time you're gonna line up at the top of course but we're lining up the score line here with the edge of this flap and you're just going to do that on all four corners all the way around making sure that you lined up to that score line and there you have it once you've done that I'm going to just move this out of the way and you're going to take your Decide which is going to be the inside of your box and which is going to be the outside of your box. So I'm going to have this um, plaid as my outside. And I'm just going to go all the way around on all of the score lines and fold them in. All the way around. Like that. Once you've got that all done, then what you're going to do, and this is the trickiest part, it's not really difficult, it's just a little bit of a trick. You're going to take this piece and you're actually going to push it in on the score line there, and then, so that's going to go in, and then you're going to take this score line and pull it up. And you're going to line up, I don't know if you can see this, but you're going to line up your edges here, and then this flap on the inside, you're just going to... Um, score it down like that and you're actually going to go around and you're going to do that bring that down the camera's getting in the way here and then bring it up and, and crease it and that down bring it up and you go all the way around on all four sides crease that And that down, bring this one up. Oh, it's got a crease on the inside here, and crease that down. So you end up with this, which is awesome. As you can see, it's starting to form a box. Now you can just leave it like this, put your gift in there, bring this all up together, and secure it, and make it a box. As you can see, cute. It's a very cute box. But what I found is that I personally like to... Um, glue down my sides just because I want it to um, I want those flaps to stay down and so I'm just going in with a little of our green glue the mono and gluing so I'm putting a little glue on this piece on that triangle and a little piece on the outside triangle and then pushing it together and securing it and the green glue does take a little bit to dry. It gives you a little bit of time to manipulate it. Um, so yeah, if your sides pop apart, just keep pushing them back together and it just takes a few minutes and then they're, they'll stay. Now I have glue all over my hands, so everything is gonna stick to it. that and down and then the last one's a little bit trickier just because your box is getting set but I'm just gonna put some glue in there and some glue down there and then push it together
Now I'm just going to go around and, and just kind of make sure that all of my flaps are glued down and staying. And there's your box. And then these two go in and you're good to go. Now I'm going to show another little video. I'm just going to add So there's your box all put together, closed in on the top, and when you actually open this up, it's really even pretty on the inside too. So it's just kind of a fun, quick, easy way to make a box. Um, so thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or comment below. And um, if you haven't already done so, you may want to sign up for my newsletter. Thank you very much. Have a great day.